Hello friends, welcome to another video tutorial from Shomu's Biology. In the series of videos, we are talking about plant photosynthesis. And in the last two videos, we saw the overview of the photosynthesis and what reactions are present in the photosynthesis. We have also talked about light reactions of the photosynthesis. Now in this video, we want to talk about the Kelvin cycle of the photosynthesis in details. Kelvin cycle is also known as the dark reactions but which is not kind of accurate thing to say because the process of Kelvin cycle also occur in presence of light. Now what happens in the Kelvin cycle? We know that in the first step of the light reaction provides them some material which will be required to initiate the dark reaction or the Kelvin cycle. So the end product of the light reactions are NADPH, ATP. So we need both of them. ATP provides the source of the energy and NADPH acts as an electron carrier, which is also required in different dehydrogenase enzyme involved reactions, different redox reactions. Because you know, the process of photosynthesis actually is a type of endothermic redox reaction. So here in the dark reaction, what happens, the idea is only to fix carbon dioxide. We call it carbon fixation. Just like the nitrogen fixation, carbon dioxide fixation is an idea. It says that in the plant cell, you have five carbon components. So the carbon dioxide from the air is combined to the five carbon component that is present in the cell itself and converting the five carbon component into a six carbon component. But the six carbon intermediate is not that stable. So it will immediately split into two, three carbon components. And those three carbon components are the first stable components of the process of photosynthesis. That is why we call this pathway C3 pathway of photosynthesis. So Kelvin cycle in general mode known as a C3 pathway. And most of the plants that you see nowadays living in the planet actually following this C3 pathway. In this pathway, the first stable intermediate is produced and from that intermediate continuously they help to produce the glucose. Okay. So what are the exact stages of the dark reactions or the Kelvin cycle and how does this process work? To understand that in more details, I will show you an animation. So let's focus on that animation in my computer where I'll explain each of the stages involved with the specific enzyme for the reaction. Okay, so now in this video we will see how the carbon fixation take place which is also known as C3 cycle or Kelvin cycle. In the Kelvin cycle to continue, we need two materials that are originated in the light reactions of the photosynthesis. One is the ATP, another one is the NADPH. And we also need a raw material that is carbon dioxide to begin with. Because the idea in the Kelvin cycle is to fix this carbon from the carbon dioxide into a chemical compound. Normally inside the cell, this is a cyclic format of the reactions that will generally produce ribulose 1,5-bisphosphate inside the cell of the plant. So this ribulose 5-bisphosphate can pair or bind to this carbon dioxide. And once carbon dioxide gets fixed with the help of an enzyme known as Rubisco or ribulose bisphosphate carboxylase oxygenase, this enzyme can fix carbon dioxide along with ribulose 1,5-bisphosphate to convert it into a 6-carbon component which is kind of unstable and broken down into two 3-carbon components known as 3-phosphoglycerate. So if you think the process begins with 3 molecules of ribulose 1,5-bisphosphate and 3 molecules of carbon dioxide so ultimately it gives us total 18 molecules of the carbon. So at the end it produces 3-phosphoglycerate and 6 molecules of 3-phosphoglycerate that also gives us 18 carbon. The best thing that you need to do in all this process of Kelvin cycle is to remember the carbon calculations because you cannot calculate it only with one molecule of ribulose 1,5-bisphosphate. It's difficult to calculate. Now, once we have 6 molecules of 3-phosphoglycerate, then this 3-phosphoglycerate is converted into 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate and by donating a phosphate group from ATP with the help of 
phosphoglycerate kinase enzyme. So it will also produce six molecules of 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate, which is also three carbon molecule. Now this 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate is converted to glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate by oxidizing NADPH into NADP. Here is the point where the NADPH produced in the light reaction is used. And this process is catalyzed by glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate dehydrogenase enzyme. So once we produce glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate, then this glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate, there are six molecules of glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate produced in this process, among which one of the glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate molecule is only taken to convert it into glucose and any other types of sugar. So one out of six G3P is taken to make sugar, while five out of six is taken to convert it into ribulose 1,5-bisphosphate with the help of a series of reaction that involves in the phosphatase activity or removal of the phosphate group as well as adding some extra phosphate group with which requires three molecules of ATP in the stages. But ultimately that converts five molecules of glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate into three molecules of ribulose 1,5-bisphosphate ultimately which both leads to 15 carbon in calculations. And once we produce ribulose 1,5-bisphosphate, then the process of Kelvin cycle can run again through the same type of processes. So as you see, the stages of the Kelvin cycle is not that difficult to remember. But the important step is the first one involving the Rubisco. And Rubisco is the most abundant protein and enzyme that is available in planet because it's present in every single cell of the organisms who are involved in the process of photosynthesis. And it is the most important enzyme to fix the carbon. And without fixing carbon, sugar cannot be produced. But the problem with Rubisco is that Rubisco can utilize carbon dioxide. It can also utilize oxygen. So along with carbon dioxide, if it has access to oxygen, it can also fix oxygen. And fixing oxygen, is a waste of energy. For that reason, sometimes different plants choose a different pathway rather than the C3 pathway, known as C4 pathway, to complete the job of photosynthesis. We make all this video for you to entertain as well as gain some important knowledge about fundamental process like photosynthesis. So if you think this video is worth making, please do like the video and share this video with your friends. Thank you.